Algae blooms have been a problem in Lake Erie for quite some time. They got so bad that water service in Toledo, Ohio was disrupted. Many factors contributed, including warm water, rainfall, and runoff from farms and other sources in the western basin of Lake Erie. In terms of um, algae, we have a very productive basin here, and uh, it grows a lot of fish, which is good for the fishermen, but in some cases, it, we grow too much algae and we get the wrong kind of algae. And that wrong kind of algae can have economic repercussions. There's 765 charter boat captains on Lake Erie trying to make a living. And along with that, you have an economic driver that is $1.1 billion just in fishing on Lake Erie. Professor Bridgman says city water services can be adjusted for short-term fixes, but that a long-term solution is needed. I think it's more important to deal with the problem at the source and that is to prevent the runoff into the tributaries that grow the toxic algae in the first place. With that in mind, the U.S. Department of Agriculture and other partners are funding efforts to improve water quality in the Lake Erie watershed. Well, a watershed is a drainage area, so everyone lives in a watershed. Whether you knew it or not, you did. Anytime a raindrop falls on the ground, it ends up somewhere. It ends up in the ground, it ends up in a stream or a river or a lake. Wherever that water runs to is uh, the beginning, the top of the watershed, and by the time it empties out into something, that's the bottom of the watershed. USDA is investing an additional $2 million to prevent runoff of sediments and nutrients into Lake Erie, and it's also funding a $1 million partnership with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and other groups to help farmers with technical assistance to improve water quality in the Lake Erie watershed. One conservation practice that USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service is helping farmers implement is no-till planting that leaves harvest residue in place to slow down nutrient and sediment runoff. Also, USDA is working with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to help farmers plant cover crops. Cover crops help keep nutrients in the soil instead of becoming sediment in streams and rivers when it rains or during rapid snow melt. I was amazed at how fast the soil quality changed with those cover crops. And I, I think what really happens there, when we farm, we farm about four and a half months a year, and we feed that soil biology four and a half months. Then we take the food away and say, hold your breath, we'll be back next May. But with cover crops, you continually feed that for sometimes over 10 months, and it makes a big difference. You can just see the continued improvement in that soil quality. Terry Cosby with NRCS reminds us that there are other sources of runoff besides agriculture that USDA works to reduce. We have a lot of farmers out here in, the, in these areas, but we also have folks that live in the urban areas. Uh, we have golf courses. Um, you know, if you wash your car, if you wash clothes, if you wash your dishes, all those things affect the water quality of where you live. USDA has spent over $46 million in the western basin of Lake Erie since 2009 to improve water quality. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.